Taco Bell North meets Beef and Alfield? Uh, yes. Do you all have the uh, Taco Bell Nacho Fries? Nacho Fries? Nacho Fries? Yes, we do. Alright, cool beans. I'll be going over there to get that. Thank you. Come on. Alright. <laughs> right, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Welcome YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Furry Amino, and all those other places. This is your boy Leon, coming to you live from Minnesota, Tennessee, and welcome to the first episode of Siamese Samples. Insert whatever the thing is here. Right now, today, what we have going on is, if the title has not tipped you off, it would be the fact that we have Taco Bell Nacho Fries. Oh, Grande Edition, because I want to go beyond. So let's take a look at what's inside this here bag. Got ourselves some receipts and napkins. In case you're wondering about the audio, we're gonna go all natural wild today because uh, we're gonna have to replace that uh, original mic setup. Yeah. So uh, we got a sauce packet. I had so much fun. Well, I sure hope so. Oh man, it's so hot, it's sweating. Let me bring it closer to the camera. You guys can see. Yeah, it's sweating, so you can't really see it. So I think I might need to open it. Uh, see that? Oh, dude. Oh, blah, blah. Sensational. <laughs> uh, sit on back down here. Alright, what's else? What else is in this bag here? I think with all the freaking sodium, I would have had something to drink right here, but uh, I want to leave it out. I want to actually catch the full flavor. Yeah. There's a lot of sauce packets in here. Is there any more? Wow, do I really need all of this to enjoy the Bel Grande Nacho? Look at all that. Oh, wow. All right. So, exactly, exactly how am I going to attack this? All right. Okay. I may be a cat, but I'm a civilized cat. So what we got here is our trusty handy dandy fork. Yeah, just fork, forking around. <laughs> fork, I don't know if you can see it in the frame, but whatever. We're gonna do a breakdown. So, what we have here, I'm gonna bring it back up so you can see. What we have here is uh, some uh, some fries, which I'm assuming where the nacho stuff is. It's a bit warm underneath here. We got some uh, nacho cheese, um, some uh, a, 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 a freaking poor, a poor amount of meat on here. Not enough to satisfy me, really. They, they could have put more, but you know they have the whole pre-measurement thing going on. Got some sour cream and some tomatoes. Some tomatoes. The only healthy thing in here. All right. The smell. Hmm. It smells like your everyday Taco Bell stuff. Not really nothing too fancy or nothing. I mean, the cost of this particular well, version of this, this is the Supreme, uh, the uh, Nacho Fry Supreme, but this is the Bel Grande edition, which it says twice the amount of fries. But if I was going to be honest, if it was like half of this for the normal one, it's not even worth that price because it's not a Supreme. It's like a, a small fry at McDonald's standards. All right. I'm going to get myself a small bit. <laughs> Let me see if I can do that. Trying to get everything in there, including the tomato, which I hate, by the way. Good source of lycopene, though. All right. 
Eh. Didn't taste too spectacular to me, but I'm gonna try again. Maybe I should put some sauce in it. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll make me, uh, yeah, give me a second. hot sauce to that. I mean, I don't know. If I can open this. It's taking a while to come out, so yeah, give me a second. Yeah. Alright, one more again. That's banging. See, when you put the sauce on there, it kind of kicks it up a notch. Otherwise, it's going to take like a bunch of like a bland um, mishmash of uh, nacho cheese, uh, sour cream, and uh, the poor amount of meat that's on there. Because, um, funnily enough, it tastes like if you opened up a burrito <laughs> and just threw it on top of some uh, rally fries. It's a little less crispy, a little less memorable. This is a decent amount of food for like three dollars. I mean, it's better than what I would typically get at at a Taco Bell. So uh, that's something. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps one more bite. I mean, yeah. Ooh. If I'm gonna get my honest answer, I'll probably say um, 2.5 paws out of four. Why am I saying that? Well, to me, um, it's nothing really new. I mean, they just suddenly started to do fries <laughs> and just put their typical stuff on the fries. I don't know why I expect it otherwise. See, that's really what it is. I'm not tasting much of the nacho eatiness except from the cheese, which is their typical cheese sauce that they give if you ask for it. Uh, it's not bad, but it's nothing memorable or different because it's what I'm used to having. Because usually, if I'm running low on money or something, have you, I'll probably stop by the Taco Bell because it's just over there. Get myself a burrito or a taco or whatever have you. But um. It's not, the fries aren't as crispy. Maybe it's because of the time it took for me to get from down there to now up over here uh, to eat. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna finish it. I just wish they put more meat on it. Because uh, I watched them put it together. They could have done more, but, uh, you know, uh, I guess it's the price of it. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's 100% meat anyway. <coughs> hmm. Oh yeah, it's banging though, for real. I mean, it's banging for Taco Bell. It's considered gourmet at that point. Now, if only they just brought back the stackers I like so much, then. All right. The more I'm digging into this, like towards the center, which is probably what I should have did was mix it up a little bit. It seemed like they seasoned their beef more in this. Well, their meat. They seasoned it more than they usually would on something else. I'm digging it. So if you're gonna get this, I recommend you mix it up a bit. Well, to spread whatever it is in the middle outward, or to take the fry on the outside and dip it if it's not too soggy by the time you freaking eat it. So yeah, ah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Eat. Eat it with my. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
front. You gotta do this. You gotta put more sauce on it. Cause I think it's the sauce that's like putting it up there. I mean, I tried it without the sauce, so you already know my opinions on that. It's, it's all right. So it's like, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna still maintain it's 2.5 out of 4, but uh, cause it's not banging, banging, but it's um, it's uh, it's dinging. <clears throat> Banging, banging. Mm. Oh. Mm. Gotta wipe that muzzle. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, uh, this has been your host, Leon. Stay fresh, stay creative, stay inspired, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Deuces. Yeah. Nacho Bell. Bell Grande. Taco Bell. Nacho Fries. Yo. Get out! <laughs>